Hi guys, I'm Sophie and welcome back or to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some pros and cons to being a medical assistant in a private practice versus a big company corporation. A little backstory on me is I was a medical assistant for a very big hospital for about three years. And then I was a medical assistant in a smaller private practice for just over two years. So I feel like I have a good understanding of um, both and the benefits and the cons to both. So we'll get right into that. Also, if you're looking to become a medical assistant and not really sure where to start, keep watching because there is a portion dedicated to that in today's video. All right, also we've got a new setup and I think I kind of like it. The lighting's good, so we're rolling with it. Also, I'm drinking out of a coffee or I'm drinking out of a Christmas mug and it's October, so mind your business. So to preface this, when I was a medical assistant in a big corporation, I was full-time. And then when I did the private practice, I was only part-time. So there are some like things that differ from being full-time and part-time, but this is just my experience. I would love to hear your experience in the comments if you've worked for a private practice. Um, so we'll just get into it. Um, personally, I'm gonna start with the biggest one because this was important. I made more money in a private practice um, quite a bit. And that is like obviously a huge pro because when you work for a big corporation, I think they have like ladders you have to climb and you have to pay all the MAs like the certain amount of money and blah, blah, blah. Where a private practice, they can just kind of decide like this is how much we wanna pay you. So I also got more frequent raises being in a private practice. Um, birthday bonuses, Christmas bonuses, things like that, just because it was more personable rather than, you know, when I worked at a big corporation for Christmas, we all got like charcuterie boards with the um, company's logo on it that all ended up in Goodwill. Um, so I got paid more. Um, the, a con is working for a small business, there were no benefits. Um, so no health insurance, dental insurance, any of that. About halfway through my time working for a private practice, we did get to contribute to a 401k with a match. The match was a lot more at the big corporation. Um, so that, you know, you take the good with the bad, you're making more money, but you're not investing as much into your retirement and things like that. So you have to like go on your own and invest into your retirement if that's something you wanna do. Working for a big company, I worked in OBGYN, so I saw tons of different types of things, women's health, pregnancy, just annuals. And so I did like all sorts of different things where at the private practice, it was very just like, there was just like kind of one main thing we did. Um, so like your, my scope of work was a lot more over here. Um, so you didn't get as like bored as easily. Obviously when you're doing the same thing day in and day out, you get very good at it, you get very efficient. So I knew like what to expect every day. Um, and you're only working for like one or two providers where in a big company, you could be floated to anywhere at any time and you just kind of have to go with it. So there's, you know, the pros and cons to both. When you're working in a small practice, you're gonna get very close with your coworkers, which for me was a pro. I loved that. I was friends with all of my coworkers where, but it could be a con because if you didn't really groove with someone and you like worked beside them all day long, that could get really tough if you weren't like, if you kind of butted heads a lot, where when you worked, when I worked at a big clinic, I mean, there were 20 nurses and MAs. So like every day you worked with someone new which was good because then you didn't get sick of anybody. If you didn't prefer somebody, maybe you only worked with them once a week. Um, so, you know, the good with the bad. Listen up, I've got something exciting to share. If you're a pre-health student looking to level up your clinical experience or just looking to start a career in healthcare, you need to check out the advanced e-clinical training. ACT offers online self-paced certification programs that help you gain real world skills and stand out in your med school, PA, or graduate school applications. 
And get this, ACT's Certified Medical Assistant Program was ranked number one in the nation by Forbes Education. That means you'll be learning from the best of the best in the field. Whether you're preparing for med school, PA programs, or just looking to level up your new skills, ACT has nationally accredited courses that help you stand out in your applications. Plus, you'll gain access to their nationwide job externship placement program and get real world experience. If you're ready to take the next step in your healthcare journey and gain valuable clinical experience in as little as eight to 12 weeks, click the link in my description to learn more and enroll with ACT today. Trust me, this could be a game changer for your future in healthcare. That was cool, and it's just like nice you felt more appreciated at a private practice um, just because the person that you're working for sees you day in and day out and kind of sees what you're doing and appreciates you where when you work for something big like a, a big business they don't really you're just a number to them they don't really care about you as much plus I had terrible management at the big place I worked so we had like three different managers in the time I worked there in three years so no one wanted to manage that clinic when you work for someone big they have IT they have janitors they have reception so like if your computer goes out you just call IT if someone makes a mess in the hallway you just call custodians where at the small clinic computer doesn't work you gotta figure it out someone gets sick you gotta clean it up someone needs to make an appointment you're making the appointment you're seeing them for the appointment and you're making the follow-up like you kind of do all sorts of things where when you work somewhere big, you can kind of delegate a little bit. Like, my computer doesn't work. Let me just type in 222 and get on the phone with IT and someone will come up and fix it. So I really liked that because it the, took the stress off of a lot of just like minor things like that. Um, you didn't have to worry about taking the trash out at night. You could just clock out and leave where when you work somewhere small, it's kind of like you're, it's all hands on deck. That's all I wrote down. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more job opportunities for big corporations, big clinics, big hospitals. Private practices are harder to come across and they're not as, you know, and they don't need as many employees. So if you had the opportunity to work for a small business, um, I would try it out if you're not opposed and see, I mean... I liked both and I disliked both for multiple reasons and I mean at the end of the day a job is a job and there's gonna be things you just don't like about it overall it's a good job loved being a medical assistant I think I've been one now for almost six years which is crazy I went like where does I randomly time? thought of this video when I was driving to work the other day and so it's kind of all over the place. I hope you guys got a little bit of insight on um, the two and benefits, pros, cons. I feel like I said that 18,000 times, so I apologize. But let me know if you have any other specific questions or anything like that. Leave them in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been active over there. I'll link my link tree with all my, with all of my socials and everything down below. Thank you and to ACT for sponsoring today's video. I really loved working with them and I definitely think you guys should check it out. Whether you are pre-med, pre-nursing, pre-PA, just want to be a medical assistant like me, you do not have to do it just because you're going on to do something else. It can be your career. Um, they also have different programs, not just medical assisting. If you want to check those out, there's a description, a link in the description and hope you guys all have a great day and we'll talk in the next one. Bye.